Well, here we are, and uh, what I'd like you to do now is to take a look at our uh, interview with uh, uh, Captain uh, Nieves of the Orange County Sheriff's Department. It was uh, taped just an hour or two ago. Let's roll that. Welcome back, everybody. We've been hearing a lot from the defense in the Kaylee Anthony mystery, not from the cops. Let's go right now to Captain Angel Nieves. He is a spokesman for the, uh, the Orange County Sheriff's Department. They are, of course, the uh, law enforcement agency leading this investigation. Captain Nieves, first of all, I have to ask you the big money question. Do you believe that this child is alive or dead? We believe that she's alive. We're still working under the premise that we did the first day when we started this investigation to look at the, all the information that we were receiving, try and find the whereabouts of Kaylee and establish her well-being. Of course, during that process, receiving the information that we have from the initial reporter, which was Casey, uh, we have to follow the evidence where it leads us. Do you have any evidence that Kaylee is alive other than what Casey told you? Well, at this point, we don't have any, any information provided to us that leads us to believe otherwise. We believe that she's still out there, that she can be found if uh, anybody provides us any information. But again, the information that we're receiving, the evidence, the follow-up that our detectives are uh, conducting with the assistance of the FBI lab, as well as the uh, Federal Department of Law Enforcement, their crime analysis folks, receiving all the tips and the information, we have not been able to establish her well-being, though. I really want to get this this point nailed down. You not only believe it's a possibility the child's alive, you're telling me, but you believe that there is no evidence to the contrary. We're letting the evidence lead us to a conclusion. What we will continue to do is follow up on all of the information. Again, the uh, sheriff's office will exhaust all means to try and make a determination as to where the child is, where she has been. And again, the key to that information is uh, working with Casey. She is currently uh, out on bond, and we stand ready to receive any information that will help us in that end. Have you been frustrated by your relationship with the uh, defendant in the child neglect case, Casey Anthony? It's definitely it's frustrating for our investigators. They put a lot of time, a lot of effort, and will continue to do so. Again, we have the assistance of the FBI, Federal Department of Law Enforcement. And again, we are standing ready as we were on day one to marshal anything that is necessary, any units, any personnel, once we receive the information that will put us on the right track uh, from Mr. Baez or uh, Casey Anthony. As you sit there tonight, is there any plan to bring additional charges against Casey Anthony? Again, at this point, our detectives are continuing to look at everything. They're going to look at the entire picture, all of the information that has been provided to us. And depending on where the evidence leads us, that will be uh, to be uh, determined at a future date. Captain Nieves, I thank you for taking time to be with me. We certainly will continue to broadcast the photograph of Kaylee Anthony and will continue to hold out the, I think, slim hope that the child uh, is still with us. Uh, let's hope it turns out that way. Thanks again. Thank you, Geraldo. The defense attorney will respond to that and our panel will as well after this. They're in a complex situation because... We're going to go back live to Orlando to uh, Defense Attorney Jose Baez and the bounty hunter bail bondsman sitting alongside him, Leonard Padilla, the man who put up the half a million bucks to get Casey Anthony out. But first, Judge Jeanine Pirro, you heard the uh, captain of the Sheriff's Department. Uh, what does it tell you, the ambivalence of uh, the equivocation of whether or not Casey's alive? Okay, number one, this is uh, a Kaylee, department, uh, Kaylee, right, this is a department that has held it very close to the vest, okay? They have not talked. They're out talking now. That tells me that the forensic anthropology that they expected th that exam to come back that would tell us the state of decomposition whether based upon the air in the trunk uh, and whether the baby was actually dead didn't come back the way they wanted it. Or, number two, that they're not quite sure they may have a homicide case. They don't want her to look like a suspect. But they're backtracking here and they're talking for the first time something's going on here. And don't you think that it looks like they're going to have to go to trial on child neglect yes. and lying to the authorities yes. and not make a homicide case? Yeah. They don't have a dead body. They may not have a dead child. They're going to be pushed on that issue. It's bad timing. They expect two weeks ago to have the goods and have the forensics back. They didn't get enough, so now they're in a tough spot. They're recircling and saying maybe we better re-examine what she's saying from the beginning. But the campaign of disinformation from her hasn't helped at all. The all Casey lies. Anthony Absolutely. lies haven't helped. Jose, he referred to you very specifically. Uh, you know we hold you in high regard as an attorney. You've got a defense to mount and uh, 
on a, you know, uh, lying to the authorities and child neglect. How are you going to balance that responsibility with the, the desperate need for your client to cooperate with the authorities to find this child, if the child exists? Well, we're going to do it. We're doing everything we can at the moment. And we're not going to sit back and take a reactive role like the police are. We're, we're actually taking a proactive role, and we're going out there and trying to find her. Um, so we're putting, we're trying to put all the pieces of the puzzle together. It's difficult with all the resources that we don't have that that police have, but we're not going to sit back and wait for tips and then go follow up on them. We're going to go out there and try and follow up on them uh, immediately rather than waiting a month or so, or so to go by before we actually talk to people who, who say they have spotted uh, Kaylee. So, uh, you know, it, it, it's very frustrating on our part, but we're going to move forward as best we can. That's And that's, quite frankly, all we can and do. You, you'll be on trial by January 9th, according <laughs> to the Constitution of the State of Florida. Leonard Padilla, the colorful, the notorious, the infamous uh, bounty hunter, bail bondsman. Uh, I, I was going to I'm run. not a bail bondsman. Oh, well, you put I'm up a, a, hunter, your, your, your nephew, Tony, put up a half a million bucks. My nephew, so. Tony's the bondsman. Uh, all yeah. right. Uh, as I talk to you, Leonard, I'm going to show the, uh, the video that we took, thanks to your uh, uh, your uh, gracious invitation inside the RV, uh, your command center, you allowed us uh, exclusive access. But what happens to your money if Casey is indicted for murder? Uh, that's not the problem. What we're in the process of doing right now is ordering what we call a 2500 ping service. That will give us where she was every two minutes between the 16th, 17th, 18th, and 19th. How are you going to do form that? A map How are you going to what is that? You, you, you order it. You pay for the service and they give you a ping and it follows her cell phone every two minutes for the five days that we're interested in, 16, 17, 18, 19th, and 20th, okay? Just like the law enforcement pinged the airport, we're going to ping her for her activities for five days except when she was in bed asleep. It gives you a trail of who she met. But Jose, whose side, who side is Leonard on, Jose? I'm on my side. I'm not on his side. He's a defense attorney. I can't even talk to his client. But it'll give us the five people's activities that met with her. Amy, Ricardo, JP, her boyfriend, and we will track the, 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 the cell phone. Probably even to the pizza shop where she ordered the pizza on the night of the 19th. But we're interested in who was holding the child, where she dropped the child off, until they got her up to where we Makes believe is in me, New Judge. York. But the, these the five, the they letter, got these the five people. Excuse was, me, excuse me. Let me finish. Oh, they got yeah, five days to bring her back and claim the reward. Okay, all right. Let it finish quick. They got five days in which to bring her back, or we're going to go out there and find the child actively. Oh, you giving you giving Casey Anthony five days to bring the kid back, and you're going after her? No, I don't care about her. The people that are holding her right now—they're not holding her against her will. She knows who she passed the baby off to, and it was a voluntary situation. Gotta Doesn't go, have gotta anything go, to do with go, kidnapping. Gotta go.